Hi, I'm Twyla Giroux, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what a person needs if they're going to purchase some mountain property. I am in Westcliff, Colorado. Um, it's uh, the wet mountain valley. It's a high mountain valley, and uh, we get snow. We don't get a lot of snow. Um, it's kind of the new banana belt, really. But there are some things uh, to know. Uh, whenever you're moving up into this country or any high country. Part of that is snow removal. Um, you can either have your own equipment, you can have a big tractor or a little side-by-side -side with the blade on it. That usually will suffice. Every once in a while you might get a bigger snow, but most of the time that's gonna, that's gonna work out for you. If you're looking at one of the 35 acre, I call them uh, gentleman ranches or ranchettes, I always try and educate my buyers because I want them to come up here and be successful. Uh, so it's always encouraged to have a couple weeks to six months worth of supplies, um, just in case you know we do get a big snow and you can't get out. Uh, there's nothing nicer than having to stay home and it's snowing outside and you've got everything that you need and you've already done pre-planning and you're prepared for something like that. That's part of what makes mountain living awesome is the peace and quiet that you can, uh, you can have because you had enough forethought and uh, knowledge to prepare yourself in your home. Your vehicles, you know, you need to have good snow tires Street tires are all right in the summer, but it's a good idea to really consider putting on those good snow tires or, or all-weather tires. One of the cool things about mountain living is uh, you do get to enjoy solitude and peace and quiet. What goes with that is towns usually not real close. Um, you can be as remote as two hours out or 30 minutes or 10 minutes, but it's always good to have a full pantry. We don't have a very long growing season up here in the high country, 55 to 60 days. And so we can have a garden and we grow really good roots up here. And the valley's known for its vegetables, but we just don't have a very long growing season. So um, a greenhouse is a nice addition. Uh, the dome greenhouses seem to be holding up pretty well up here. and. Um, you can turn your place into a little homestead on 35 acres and uh, really live off the land. Most of the places up in this high country nowadays you can work from home. Starlink brought the rural properties up to par for this remote living. We've been kind of left behind with technology because uh, there wasn't enough of us. But that's all changed now with Starlink. So pretty much every place up here, you can get great internet. The cost of living uh, in Colorado in general is pretty high. Living up here in the high country, you're a little bit closer to the land so you can grow your own food. And another really cool thing is there's a lot of good ranchers up here and cattlemen that uh, offer a lot better price on beef than you can get in Safeway. You know, they don't give their animals a lot of, or any, hormones and, you know, antibiotics and that kind of thing. Even though it's a little bit expensive to live up here, uh, beef prices are such that you can have good, affordable, healthy protein and you can see exactly where it comes from. So power in these remote places, uh, you know, has proven to not be much of a challenge anymore. Uh, they've got great solar systems. You know, we, we can even do wind and uh, whole house backup generators that are quite affordable now. And uh, so power nowadays is not a big deal. You can live off the grid, never have a monthly payment again on your utilities. Um, and utilize uh, the new technology that's coming down the road with, uh, with these good solar systems. I would just say, do your research. We've got all the technology to uh, make you very comfortable uh, nowadays. Um, 
Any questions you have, feel free to give me a call. I've got contacts for you and I can help educate you as well. And I'll be happy to do that.